Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about what do you mean by ad hoc testing, why we perform ad hoc testing, what are the advantages and disadvantages of ad hoc testing. And at last we'll talk about what is the difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing. So let's get started. So when we test any application guys, so when we test any application without, without planning, without any proper planning or documentation without documentations that is nothing but ad hoc testing and since we don't create any plan or we don't go for any documentation so this is also called ad hoc testing is also called informal testing informal testing or you can say unstructured type of software testing and in ad hoc testing we should have to perform ad hoc testing we should have some knowledge about the application guys we should have prior knowledge about the application then only we can do ad hoc testing so what happens in ad hoc testing is let's say we have different functionalities in our application we have different components in our application so randomly we'll check the functionalities of those components so that is kind of ad hoc testing so when we perform ad hoc testing so generally after once we execute the formal test cases when we done the formal testing let's say we have executed some test cases about the application and still if we left some time in testing then we'll go for ad hoc testing to learn more about the about the application so this is the reason we perform ad hoc testing to uncover some some of the important defects in application then we go for ad hoc testing now you might have question like what is the difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing so we have seen uh, in previous videos we already spoken about exploratory testing so what happens guys as part of exploratory testing we'll explore the application so we don't have any knowledge about the application we will just explore as part of exploratory testing and we'll create some kind of test plan what needs to be executed as part of exploratory testing some kind of plan and then we'll learn the application on the application so this is uh, these all process are simultaneous in nature right simultaneously we'll explore the application we'll create some documentation for exploratory testing like what needs to be uh, tested and we'll learn the application simultaneously so that is exploratory testing but here in what happens in ad hoc testing is we should have prior knowledge about the application here we'll explore the application and learn the application as part of as part of exploratory testing exploratory testing so this is the basic difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing guys we'll talk more about more differences about ad hoc testing and exploratory testing coming slides so let's move on to the next slide guys where we'll discuss some definition about the ad hoc testing and we'll see why we perform ad hoc testing and advantages and disadvantages and at last we'll talk about the difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing so when a software testing is performed without proper planning so this is what we have discussed and documentation without proper planning and documentation it is said to be ad hoc testing ad hoc testing is an informal or unstructured software testing type that aims to break the testing process in order to find possible defects so that is the main aim of our, uh, of the ad hoc testing ad hoc testing is performed without a plan of action or and any actions taken are not typically documented ad hoc testing implies learning of the software before its testing ad hoc testing is done by executing the random scenarios which we have spoken about and it is form of negative testing which ensures the perfection of the testing so these are all points about the ad hoc testing guys now question comes like why we go for ad hoc testing why do we do ad hoc testing so the main aim of ad hoc testing is to find any defects through random checking randomly we'll verify the application and try to find out some defects this can uncover many very specific and interesting defects which are easily missed when we when we use when using other methods when we perform the formal testing approach 
when we uh, miss some of the defects then that can be uncovered as part of ad hoc testing ad hoc testing usually performed after the formal test execution so this is what we have discussed ad hoc testing will be effective only if the tester has in depth understanding about the system under test so what we have spoken about you should have knowledge about the application then you can perform ad hoc testing whereas in exploratory testing we should uh, it's not mandatory to know about the application we'll just explore the application as part of exploratory testing what are the advantages and disadvantages of ad hoc testing so let's talk about advantages first so this method is very simple and can be performed without any training it can be used when time period is limited this can uncover very specific and interesting defects which are easily missed when using other methods so about this point it can be used when time period is limited let's say we have very limited time period to go about the production we have already executed the formal testing now we have some time left for testing then we can go for about the go for the ad hoc testing to uncover some of the defects which are missed during the formal testing approach this testing can be performed anytime during software development life cycle process so this can also be performed at any time in software development life cycle process guys what are the disadvantages so this method is not recommended when more scientific methods are available the actual testing process is not documented since it does not follow a particular test case it is difficult for the test to regenerate an error in ad hoc testing so these are the some kind of disadvantages about the ad hoc testing now let's talk about what is the difference between exploratory testing and ad hoc testing guys so ad hoc testing implies learning of the software before its testing exploratory testing you learn and test the software some simultaneously i have discussed documentation is not a basic need of this type of testing the qa team always attains the testing without a specific documentation and documentation is mandatory here some kind of documentation will create as part of exploratory testing to assure that quality is and necessary to document the detail of this testing ad hoc testing is about the perfection of the testing and exploratory testing is more about the learning of the application so here we'll make sure that we cover all kind of test cases as part of ad hoc testing like we test all kind of functionalities in any application so this is kind of perfection of the testing when we perform ad hoc testing this is more about the learning of the application because we don't have any knowledge about the application as part of exploratory testing ad hoc testing helps to find innovative ideas from the research it helps to develop the application to get more ideas about the application ad hoc testing is technique of testing an application that these provides a significant role in the software production this is an approach of testing that combines the learning test results and creates a new solution it mostly works on the business concern and increases the knowledge about the application perform ad hoc testing different scenarios when we test as part of ad hoc testing it categorizes the problems and compare them from the problems found in the past this helps to reduce the time consumption ad hoc testing is not important to execute by an expert software testing and this is always needed to be done by expert it works on negative testing mostly and this testing works on positive testing needs it does not work with the workflow exploratory testing works with the workflow from beginning of the testing it starts with primary objectives and collects proper information about them so basically when we perform ad hoc testing so randomly we will check the application right so but in as part of as part of exploratory testing we learn the application so that is kind of step by step process however we'll do some kind of random testing as part of exploratory testing as well by exploring the application we'll just learn the workflow right so this is all about today guys so 
about ad hoc testing what do you mean by ad hoc testing and the difference between ad hoc testing and exploratory testing so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye